So, um, let's go to James chapter 4, verse 4. Only if you're joining or you're going to watch this later, let's go to James chapter 4, verse 4. This is just for the exhortation for the Christians who are going to watch the stupid boy in a few hours. Ye adulterous and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship with the world of the world is enmity with God, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Like um, the Bible said that if you're a friend of the world, you're God's enemy. First John chapter two verses fifteen to seventeen. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, or the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the, of the Father, but is of this world. And the world passeth away, and the lust of it, but there are, there are, but he that doeth the will of the God abideth forever. So my question for you is, you know, brothers and sisters, if you're a Christian, you're going to watch the stupid ball. What should it benefit you from? Like, what are you going to gain? Are you going to go there and preach the gospel and win souls? You can say, oh, brother, brother, how come, how come you're not doing it? Well, one, you know what I mean? I, um, I have, like, a little bit of, um, you know, I'm going to be led by the Spirit to do all these stuff, you know, like, I mean, I personally don't like being around crowds that smoke marijuana. Like, it's like a lot of warfare if I end up going to the, Sophie's telling me, if you're led by the Lord to go, then you go on, but me, you know, I gotta, like, get in deep prayer and fasting about this, you know, and I haven't been doing those, so. But the stupid bow promotes idolatry, and, you know, it promote you take God's name in vain, and the Bible tells us that you should not bow down to other images, just like a bird was saying a moment ago. I don't think Christians should be partaking in the stupid in the Super Bowl. And you know, for shame, right now like there's a lot of pastors that are canceling like their services earlier. You know, um they're and that's a shame, you know, if you're a pastor, you know, and you're shutting down your services because you only watch the stupid bowl and you tell your congregants to go uh watch the stupid bowl, then shame on you. You're not a pastor, you're a, you're you're a wolf. You're wicked, you need to repent. And they say this is enough, um, and I won't even call you a pastor if you if you call yourself a pastor, but you know you're canceling the services, or not going to church at all, or uh, whatever, man, for me, you know, you're, you don't, don't tell me, you don't sit here and tell me that you don't love God. <sighs> no, I'm just over here exposing the stupid ball, the Super Bowl Sunday. <coughs> That's my job as a Christian, you know, to expose, you know, the works of darkness. You know, the Bible tells us in Ephesians 5.11, do not have a fellowship with the unfruitful workers or darkness, but rather reprove them. And um, the church is mixing with the world. That's why the world is confused, you know. They don't know who it's who. They don't know if you're a God or you're the devil. Because the church just looks like the world. Stupid Paul Sunday is going to start in a couple of hours. I want to see if anybody wanted to fellowship. You know, live stream, you know. I know for a fact some brothers and sisters can. They're not available, you know. Uh, it's understandable, you know. I wanted to I want to ignore this um, uh, filthy, disgusting garbage. Because, you know, I, I, I really hate, you know, um, the Super Bowl. I had no interest in watching it. You know, maybe I might check, like, who won. Just for curiosity, that's it, you know, I know everybody's talking about this, you know, but I'm not, I'm not sure. You know, I mean, you know, I'm not really going to watch the game, you know, um, it's a waste of time, you know, in my opinion. It's stupid, you know, and I mean, I pray you repent and ask God for forgiveness for promoting this idolatry, you know, it's an abomination. You know, before God, you know, the NFL, you know, um, hates God, um. So that God hate the NFL. That's why I hate it myself. It promotes violence. And the Bible says that God hates all workers of iniquity. Psalms 5.5. 5. 
it's not my job to hate people, you know, it's my job to hate the sin, but, you know, there's a lot of idolatry in this, in this stupid bowl. There's a lot of sexual immorality. They look at the halftime shows. And you pastors, if you're over there lusting after those cheerleaders, shame on you. Shame on you, you wicked pastor. You're wicked. You're a wicked man. Shame on you. For um, shorting down the services. And even like, um, instead of the, you cancel the service. And you, um, you put a, a big TV screen so everybody could watch it. Shame on you. Shame on you.